The year is 1860 and the United States is in danger of being torn apart. Last year, John Brown's raid in Harper's Ferry caused tensions over slavery to explode. Four million people in the United States are enslaved with no hope of freedom in sight. Americans are moving west and expansion means more opportunities. It also means, however, tension about whether the new states will allow slavery or not. Slavery is not the only issue on the minds of Americans. There are debates between those who support agriculture and those who want to see the expansion of industry. And no one can agree whether the states or the federal government should have more power. The presidential election of 1860 would determine the future of the nation. Four men, all from different backgrounds and of different opinions, are competing for the presidency of the United States. Resolve, that is both a part of patriotism and of duty to recognize no political principle other than the constitution of the country, the union of the states, and the enforcement of the laws. decision of the states to defeat the faithful execution of fugitive slave laws are hostile in character and against the Constitution. The lane is along which has no turn, though foes be set us fiercely. We'll foster principles and live and march straight on to victory. Tis jealous for the people and for all. And as much as differences of opinion exist in the Democratic Party as to the powers of a territorial legislator and as to the powers and duties of Congress over the institution of slavery within the territory. Resolved that the Democratic Party will abide by the decisions of the Supreme Court of the United States on the question of constitutional law. Resolve that we, the delegated representatives of the Republican electors, unite in the following declarations. The federal constitution, the right of the states, and the union of the states must and shall be preserved. We denounce those threats of this union. So clear the track, get out the way, you Democrats have had your day. Truth is mighty and will prevail, the sons of Abraham cannot fail. We deny the authority of Congress, of a territorial legislature, or of any individual to give legal existence to slavery in any territory of the United States. We'll send only to Washington before they can secede or run. And let the wind down of the sails and fence them in with one unrest. John Bell, John Breckinridge, Stephen Douglas, and Abraham Lincoln. They stand for the issues that are tearing America apart. On November 6, 1860, the white men in America will cast their votes. Rich or poor, native-born or immigrants, northerners or southerners, will choose the 16th president of the United States of America. <laughs>